hello guys how are you doing my name is Winfred and you're welcome to my channel where it's all about easy meals at home and today is not any different we are making a gizzard stew one that we've never made before so join me see the ingredients and how it is done now these are my guinness uh, my gizzards i washed them and cleaned them go ahead clean yours and then get a board and chop them up they are best served when they are sliced not whole so go ahead and cut them up now i've finished cutting up my my gizzards i'm adding to them green uh, sorry black pepper quarter a teaspoon and some ginger half a teaspoon and to that I'm adding some salt, like quarter a teaspoon. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix these ones and let them marinate for some time as I work on my other ingredients. While your gizzards are marinating, go ahead and slice up your tomatoes that you're going to use for the cooking. It doesn't matter the size and it doesn't matter the shape of just go ahead and slice them up and have fun doing it now after cutting up your tomatoes go ahead and cut up the onions to any desired shape it won't deter the taste it will still be tasty go ahead and cut them up i've got one green bell pepper that i'm going to use so go ahead and cut up your bell peppers as well now go ahead and put a pan on fire and heat it up then add some oil to it so i'm waiting for my pan to heat up then i add oil now that my oil is ready time for me to add my gizzards Go ahead and mix them up and cook them until you see they are almost golden brown and then you can check them up. Now I have with me three carrots. Go ahead and shred yours like this. You get your vegetable peeler and shred them into long strands. These will not only look uh, uh, amazing but they will also again add color and stay twist to your meal as your gizzards are cooking now i've got with me two potatoes i'm going to slice these up and add them to my gizzard stew this would make my my plate or my dish just sufficient whereby i don't need to add anything to accompany it but if you want you can go ahead and add rice to it with your meal or just have them as gizzards because it's a complete dish if you put these potatoes in. See how I've cut them up into small cubes? Go ahead and cut up yours to these cubes. Now I've finished cutting up my potatoes to these cubes. And I've added them to water so that they don't discolor or oxidize. Time for me to check back on my gizzards. Now, while we're working on our other ingredients, our uh, gizzards have been cooking, and as you can see, they are almost there. I'll just give them a few more minutes. This can take about uh, five, six minutes, depending on your heat. It does not have to be very high, just medium heat, so that they can cook to golden brown and cook to the... Now, I'm going to take them out, and then get another pan and start our cooking now i'm going to use a clean pot and add the same oil that came from the other frying pan where we, we were cooking our gizzards some of that oil is what i'll use and to that i'm going to add our onions Your 
cook to a golden to a golden brown, not all the way, but just a white color. And once they are ready, we are going to add our other ingredients. So go ahead and mix them up. So I'm going to add my carrots. These were three big carrots that I'm using. Um, now the carrots have cooked for about two minutes. It's literally just stir frying. You add your tomatoes. Now I've also got another blend of tomatoes and garlic. I made I blended some tomatoes together with garlic, about four cloves of garlic. Go ahead and blend yours and add it to that. And then you mix and cover for until the tomatoes are ready or for about two minutes. Now go ahead and mix your your vegetables. See that they are nicely blended and cooked through. And then we add our spices. Now I'm just going to first add my gizzards and then let them get to soften a bit and get to know the other ingredients before I add in other things. To, to this, I'm going to add uh, potatoes, not to forget them. These were two potatoes big size. Go ahead and add them and then add our spices. Now, because of tomatoes, I'm going to use a teaspoon of sugar, some curry powder, okra powder, uh, black pepper, and some salt to taste. Then you go on and mix this and let them cook for yet another two minutes while covered so that the spices can cook through and our potatoes can also get ready, have a chance to get ready. Before we add water. But I'm going to add soy sauce, a teaspoon. And then add some water and let them cook for yet another two. So I'm just going to add about 300 ml of water and then cover and let this cook for about five more minutes so that our gizzards are now softened and our potatoes are ready to serve. With our spices I also put some rosemary, black pepper, curry powder and that was it guys. They've been cooking for about five minutes. Now I'm adding the green bell peppers for color and I'll seal that off. These ones can be eaten raw, so go ahead and just add them. Once you cover, once the heat is off, you will have yourself a sumptuous meal. So that's how I've prepared my, my gizzard stew. Until next time, guys, bye-bye and God bless.